So Blue Sky seems to be getting really popular at the moment. People are flocking from X, from, well, mostly X, over to there. And I've seen a ton of people specifically in Squarespace, so like in the even designer community saying, hey, what's your Blue Sky, blah, blah, blah. I haven't checked it out yet. I'm going to soon. But one thing that a lot of people have been asking is, well, how do I get the Blue Sky icon on my Squarespace website? Because at the moment, it's just like the uh, paperclip. Because at the moment, it's it's just the link icon. So how do we change that? How do we get the official logo in there? Well, I'm going to show you. Super easy. It just requires a little bit of code for now. I will make an update when the actual logo drops from Squarespace's side. I'm sure they'll do it soon. But as a stopgap, this is the solution. So you can see here, we've got our social media icons. I've loaded a few in just so you can see the difference. Everything else, it's logo automatic, or it's icon automatically comes up. Blue Sky at present doesn't. It's just got this link icon here. So what we need to do is go into pages, go down into website tools and custom CSS. Now, what you'll need to do is get the Blue Sky logo from Google Images or from Blue Sky. Like go and save that image and I've written the code here so I'm just going to paste it so what we're doing is we are targeting the link bsky.app so what we're saying here if we remove this code is don't display the link icon like don't display that SVG so find the link get the SVG and don't display it now, the second part of the code, we're saying, okay, find this link. And then we're going to add this image. So we're adding an image in, which is just the Blue Sky logo. For now, that's going to be the best way to do it. If you want um, a different color logo, you're going to have to go and find a different color logo. Like if you were on a white background, for instance, you'll want to get the blue logo. But I'm just doing white for the purposes of this video. You can see we take off these, it goes all strange. So you want to keep in the background code as well. Uh, position is just going to keep it central. So if I take them out one by one, you'll see what they do. You can see that it moves up ever so slightly. So we want to keep it central. If we take off the background size, then it gets too big. And then if we take off the repeat, it's going to start repeating around the edges so we want no repeat and that basically just means one uh, fills 100 percent and keeps it central you can change the image you can do this for any social media um, link or any link that you add into the social block so you could just change the link and then change the background but that is how you do it so make sure that you get the image you want to upload the image into custom files here. So I just uploaded it into here. Um, let's take this out. So imagine you've got it like this. Nothing is showing. You go into custom files. You upload your icon into here. Click on the icon. That's going to put the URL into here. Because um, obviously you won't have access to this link. So put that in. Super duper easy. Um, I'm hoping Squarespace are going to add this as a native feature anyway soon. But just as a stopgap, there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.